Well, hopefully I can get this uploaded without any major errors. It's like the last three videos that I've uploaded to YouTube, I messed up on. I just uploaded one on my other channel and there was like a, the video, the whole video was there, but I had a duplicate, du, duplicate, bl duplicate clip that was like five minutes down the line. So there was like five minutes of nothing. So I had to pull the worst thing anybody has to do on YouTube is upload a video, make it public and then pull it <laughs> after people are in the middle of watching it, but had to be done. So that's back up. Many diets. The reason people fail so many diets. The biggest reason is because we have in our society glamorized food so much that people just no longer have the willpower. They cannot resist the garbage food that is out there. And that's probably one of the biggest problems. And the way I overcome that, Okay, number one, I live alone. I don't have anyone else here tempting me other than the dogs. I'm not looking at their food going, mmm, that looks good. Nope. Some of it does, though, you know. But I don't have that temptation. I'm in control of the food that comes in the house, the food that gets cooked, and I'm in full control over what gets consumed. But like I said, we have, we have glamorized eating and food so much. I guarantee you 300 years ago, it wasn't about what you were eating for dinner and how good's it going to taste. It was about, am I going to eat dinner and how will I get it? And after that, it really didn't matter because people for thousands of years struggled to eat a meal. They certainly were not eating three meals a day like we are. A human being, I don't believe, was created to eat three meals a day. You don't need it. I'm currently eating just two, and I never, before the, I went carnivore, I never ate breakfast. And the reason you could say it's probably the most important is because it's probably got some of the best things for your body. Eggs. Eggs. If there is one food I can I can name that is probably all around the best thing you can eat. It's probably eggs. Look how many things you can do with an egg. Look how many things you can do with a chicken. Uh, so eggs are very good, very good source of protein, uh, many other things. Now, I've had people comment, oh, your cholesterol is going to be through the roof. Well, there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. And when you're on the carnivore, you're consuming the good, car, uh, the good cholesterol. Uh, I ain't had any issues. I, I haven't felt this good since I was a young, young teenager. Before I started smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol, uh, which goes way back. So if they're bad for me, they're sure making me feel good. You would have to... Not everybody understands the carnivore lifestyle. I certainly don't. Most people don't. But we know it works. And I've been on it. Oh, man, let's see. May, all of May, June, July, August, September. I'm going in my sixth month. And now I have started losing again. I went through about a month where I was not. I was just staying in a certain two to three, four pound range. Now I started dropping again. Not sure why. That's just how most, most diets go. And this is no different. Uh, but you don't gain, you know. Now what I have to do, what you have to do is you got to stop glamorizing food, okay? You got to get it in your head that food is just, you know, when you go to get gas in your vehicle, your vehicle doesn't have a light that comes on and goes, damn, that was good. It doesn't. 
It just takes it and it goes. It's just, you know, think of yourself as a vehicle. You have to stop or you're going to run out. You're going to be stranded if you don't fill the tank. Same with a human being. If you don't fill your tank, well, you're going to st- you're going to stop pretty soon. Okay, you you may have a few days, you may have a, a few weeks on food, but you will shut down. Same as a vehicle. But the car doesn't have a light that comes on. That's good gas. Let's go back there. Let's let's bring the kids. Let's bring the go karts and and let's 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 get some more of that gas. It doesn't care, and we shouldn't care. When you have set a course to lose weight. You have to be in that mindset. Okay, it's food. Yes, I like cake. Oh, I like ice cream. I like all these things. You got to put them out of your mind. And if anybody in your household wants to tempt you with those items and is not on board with what you're doing, then that's bad. You're in a bad situation. I'm sorry, but that's bad. If they are so selfish that they won't give those some of those things up that they know are your triggers for the time that you need to lose weight. And, and I find that hard to believe in most cases that a spouse or, you know, anybody in your immediate family would want you to stay fat and not lose weight and be healthy. But if that's the case, maybe you need to get a move away for six months, get a six month lease in an apartment somewhere. I don't know. I know if I was married and my wife was overweight, I'm not tempting her with no sweets. And I'm going to make sure she's going to follow whatever diet they are on. And it isn't going to, they're not going to cave because of me. So you just have to get it in your head that, that food is not something to fantasize over. It's not something to look forward to. Think of, it, think of it as like your socks. You have to put them on every day, your underwear, your pants. Another thing you have to do to get through the day doesn't mean it has to taste terrible because I'm going to tell you on the carnivore lifestyle, you're eating steak. You're eating all the good things, you know, bacon, hamburger, chicken, pork. Uh, there's so many ways to cook it too. So it is, this is not one lifestyle or diet that you can say the food is terrible because it isn't, but you have to put out the temptations out of your mind, the ice cream, the cookies. You know, if you're, if you're saying to your wife, I want to do this carnivore thing and she's in there every day, baking cakes and cookies. Well, you know, that ain't a good situation. So if you are in a household where there's, it is not just you and there are others if you can't get them others on board with you, it's going to be very, you're going to have to have some really, really good willpower. And I'm not saying that you can't muster that up. You could, but it's harder for a person that has other people in the house, especially if you're used to eating at the same table every day. Uh, I don't know. I, I think if I was in that situation and that other person was eating a steak every day. I think I'd be wanting a steak and some shrimp and things like that. The hell with the Brussels sprouts and the green beans. Let me have the steak and the shrimp. So you just have to put, think of food differently. Uh, I guarantee you 300 years ago, they weren't thinking of how good something was going to taste. When they did get something good, they really appreciated it. We don't appreciate it anymore. We can just go bust open a, uh, a can of ho- a box of ho hos, you know, that you got next two blocks away at the Walmart, and that's why we're all overweight. That's why we are all overweight. You wouldn't have seen hardly any any overweight people. You didn't even see them in the seventies. Hardly the only ones you seen were the older people or the people that made might have had a disability or an injury that they could no longer get any kind of exercise, but uh, the foods were not as bad either. So just try to think of food as gasoline. You're just going to fill your tank, and on carnivore, you can get as full as you want. You eat till you're comfortably full. There's no portion control. You can eat as long as what you're eating is 
carnivore based, you can eat all day, but you're not going to want to because you're not going to be hungry like you are on a normal diet. Uh, and when I say diet, I mean the food you eat every day. You're not going to be, you're not going to be as hungry. Uh, I eat breakfast kind of about probably about, usually I'll run the town. If I have to run the town, do some, whatever I got to do and then come back and then I'll make breakfast. Then I'll go out and work in the shop, do whatever I need to do, but it isn't the priority. I mean, it's, it's not something I'm looking forward to. It's just something I know I got to put in my tank to go. And that's it. Stop fantasizing over food. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.